some bicentennial for the Charlestown Navy Yard. Uh, and it's loads of history. Let's see, what history do we have here? Captain Isaac Hull. Nice uniform. Now, how do we get off of this horrible yuppie promenade? You can see the red paint stripe is our friend. This was formerly just a big, noxious industrial wasteland. They put a little lipstick on the pig, but it's still difficult to make a lot of it exciting. Yep, there's another stupid duck boat. Some freedom trail propaganda. left of the old Navy Yard. We have a destroyer. We have, as promised, Elizabeth, here's Oh, there goes a yet another boat. Shipyard train. All that's left of the former glory. There's our beloved ridiculous obelisk over there. But here you go, Isabel. I promised you boats. Did I get you boats or what? We got boats. And there's our beloved clowning cormorant. What's it doing now? Now evidently, some accident happened here a couple of years before I was born. That's something called USS Leyte, uh, aircraft carrier. Some bizarre, disastrous explosion happened here. Almost 60 years ago. Some civilians bought it too. God, it must suck to have a job where you have to repeat the same ridiculous, important historical nonsense to a pile of credulous goofs all day long. I think I just slip my wrists and call it good. And there's TD Bank North and a bunch of other important boats. Some important pieces of granite. Some important bollards. Gotta have bollards. Uh-oh. Someone said something important and clapping ensues. <laughs> yeah. And here we have a somewhat less important old rotting pier. So this is where Paul Revere, our favorite Huguenot silversmith, ended up crossing the Charles River. And they 
headed off to do their famous midnight ride. There's a battery here. I don't know what the piece of round granite is, but I'm sure it had some kind of importance. It's kind of hard to be around here without having importance creep up on you. <laughs> Old Navy, Navy Yard remnants and crowds. Crowds and power. Pretentious little Boston over across the water. Here's the huge old early era shipyard cranes. The destroyer, the USS Cassin, which evidently saw our action in World War II and took a few hits from some kamikazes. Various other old naval junk various other old naval facilities. It's mostly a tourist attraction now, but once upon a time it actually employed lots of things and people and did useful stuff. Another view of our beloved obelisk. Something about playing it safe with safety shoes. And we got a little maritime action going on. Tugboat's dragging some big tankery thing, probably in the direction of Chelsea Creek. And here is our dry dock. An actual dry dock in dry mode park boats in this thing and fix them. The last fun look at the casting. Farewell. Tourist douche load. What a dry dock it is. Okay. I think I've done enough.